Uh, good day, people, and uh, welcome to day thirty nine. Um, it's been a while. Um, I have been posting daily, as you can tell. Um, but I've done a lot of things in these last few days, so today I'm going to be showing you all that, or you know, crocodile, or the crocodile zoo, and um, the caves as well. I'll show you that today, and uh, stick and tune because there is a lot to see. So. Um, that was all day 30, that was day 37 I believe uh, for the crocodile farm and the caves was day 38 so this is currently day 39 so I've been working, I've been doing some mowing, um, helping doing some lawns, mowing some lawns this morning and um, we're on a pony and uh, on a carriage with my auntie. I'll show you a bit of that on the end. Um, I'm going on a horse ride maybe this afternoon, so um, I'm not looking at the camera. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, jump into it. And uh, let's start off with the crocodile park. So first we went on a tour and they showed us these two baby crocodiles. Um, we weren't allowed to touch them or anything, but yeah, it was really awesome. And the place um, is really awesome. The roof's full of like crocodiles that have been skinned and um, Obviously they've died and stuff, so they've just used it for the decorations. And uh, these are the merchandise you can buy here. They're very expensive. And yeah, so th these ones out here are saltwater crocodiles. Um, saltwaters, I didn't know this, they actually also go into the fresh water as well, so you're kind of not safe anywhere. <laughs> These first ones they showed us were the smaller ones. Um, they're still really big and I wouldn't jump in there <laughs> um, at all. And then they showed us the freshwater ones which I will show you next. But yeah, the bigger ones are at the front of the area so stick and tune. Oh wow. Somewhere, can anyone see him? No. Should we be able to, can you see him? I know where he is. Oh, he's right there. So crocodiles are extremely good at recognising patterns. Uh, if we're in the wild and we're washing our hands five days in a row and spotting uh, in the same spot, guess who's going to be there on the sixth day? I know generally where they're going to be because they know that pattern. They know about this time. They're going to get fed. All this creek water gets pumped in from out the back. There's a creek about a kilometre that way. Um, they know that they're going to get fed. So all the barramundi, the mullet, uh, the tilapia in here, they know. Now, fat bill is 4.6 metres and about 800 kilos. Um, that water, we've just seen him in. Uh, well, not seen him in. That water is knee deep. So if we can't see a 4.6 metre crocodile crocodile farm in knee deep water, what chance do we have at the boat ramp? Okay, so please do look at the signs. Uh, parents do These are the freshwater crocodiles. probably feel oh. threatened by us, not the other way around, okay? And what we've got here is two American alligators. Uh, their names are Bo and Ty. They come from a zoo in WA that went bankrupt. Uh, they are classed as a pest. No one wanted a cane tone that big, uh, so John took them on. Otherwise, they would have been euthanized. Um, big fella up on the bank here. He prefers cool oh, weather wow. days like this, where it's nice and cool. Uh, they actually prefer it when it's super, super hot here. You Yeah, so uh, these are the bigger saltwater crocodiles. Um, they're really big. Now that's a jaw pop. That's not bone hitting bone. That is micro explosion no, of the air big compressing crocodiles. so quickly uh, that it's causing that explosion. They can eat it. No, away. <laughs> So 
obviously when you've got an animal up over four and a half meters it's not like a cat where you tell them what to do uh, they tell you they tell you what you're gonna do okay you're gonna have to find that mate you're not getting any more <laughs> obviously I look better than a chicken front <laughs> all right next door frequently with him um, that's because he'll get you into a routine and then he'll change it up on you when you're not expecting it uh, his name is Ward. Uh, I think he's probably the ugliest. Uh, generally, Ward wants to see what the go is. Mason is this big boy here. He comes from Port Douglas. Um, he comes from Port Douglas. This is Maggie. Yeah. So Mason comes from Port Douglas. Uh, at the golf course, they've got the sprinklers seven o'clock every morning. Experience, okay? Uh, this should be. Uh... So yeah, that's basically when the tour ended. It was really good, really awesome. Do you recommend it? Uh, so after that, we went to Emu Park, wow. which is a town um, near this is where the noise Rock comes from. where we saw this singing there. ship and the giant whale. So the next day, we went to uh, Capricorn Caves, which had magnificent views. Um, it was a tour um, spot. Um, it's about a 90-minute tour, and my... My man, it is worth it. Um, it is honestly really good. It's got a cathedral in there. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. It even looks pretty good on the outside too. And um, yeah, so that's what we did for day thirty-eight. And obviously, yeah, I found some more green frogs and stuff like that. Pretty cute. Oh, oh he's gone. Probably hopped away. Is he next to you? No. Right. Be careful. We don't step on him. Oh, there he is. Hi. Get him. Hopped away. Hang on. Woo! <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you all on day forty, which. Maybe day 40, maybe the next day. I don't know. Um, I haven't got any plans for really tomorrow. But I am going to head to the Sunshine Coast on the Monday. So see you then.